I know the league um, has an arrangement with the city where partial owners and custodians of this Onion Creek soccer complex. I think it's a great complex. It's, uh, it's expensive to maintain, but we do our best. And uh, it's good for soccer because the fields are smooth, they're, they're well maintained, and um, everything facilitates good soccer play. Statistically, whenever the World Cup um, comes around, the league always benefits from it because there are always people out there who watch the games and then decide that they want to be players. Basically what I do is I assign referees, I hire referees to work the games that the league organizes. He's super dedicated. I think you have to be. I think you have to love the game to be around it and as dedicated as, as Aubrey is. Because it's, it's not just a signing during the week. He's out here every Sunday um, for all days, as far as I can tell. And it's, a, it's a big commitment. So he, I know he loves it. Every Sunday, I think the players just look forward to the opportunity of coming out here and competing in the different divisions and, and having fun. It's a very inclusive league. I've just always been really connected and passionate about playing. I love the game. Most of these players also have families and uh, some of them take the opportunity of bringing their families out. To, to watch the games, to be a spectator to the games. Austin loves soccer and I've seen it grow and I've been in Austin 15 years um, and like last World Cup was a good example of going out to bars and it just having a huge following and then and even out here like men's league is maxed out. So there's always a renewed and increased interest in the game when the World Cup comes around but for me it's to me the greatest spectacle in sports.